Sup guys, how's it going out there? So I've tried everything on this channel to get some goddamn views. I've been a comedy channel. My ideal woman would be someone I could, you know, sing a love ballad to. I've been a gaming channel. Oh, what the fuck? How did that, how did I die? I've done vlogs. That when I go to take a shit, uh, usually takes me a while. I've done music. I can still picture you naked. I did a strip show. Right, and then all of a sudden we do one of these. Whee! Hey, it fucking worked. Hell, I've even done videos for charity. Oh, fuck me. But it's clear to me now that only one kind of vid really gets views. Facebook has shown me the way. From now on, I'm gonna make cooking videos. Today on Matty's Kitchen, we're gonna be making something absolutely delish. A Scottish delicacy. The fabled beef olive. That is not an olive stuffed with beef. No, no, that would be disgusting. This is beef wrapped in more beef. And since I'm a culinary master, I'm gonna be making them by hand. By taking them out of this packet. Bang! You see these right here? They're Belchers of Ayrshire. Six beef olives. Best of gear, you cannot get better quality than that outside of the Govan Farm Foods. We don't need to follow the instructions because I'm a fucking pro. Get that to fuck. Get them on there. I'm gonna take the fucking plastic off, here we go. All right, so here's how you make beef olives the classic Scottish way. First, open your packet, separate out your olives, you can do this by hand, easy peasy, oh, or maybe you can Ah, see that, that's muscle, right there. Next what you want to do is make some gravy, so you're going to need to boil the kettle. So just wait there and look at it while you're waiting for it to boil. Don't forget to preheat your oven to around 200 degrees. I don't know if that's Celsius or Fahrenheit. All I know is it's 200. Next up, you want to take your cat mug or any mug really with any kind of adorable animal on it and add in some gravy granules. Now, I personally choose Ah Bisto because it's the best fucking gravy on the planet. But if you want to be cheap about it, you know, that's your call. You don't want too much. At most in here you want to put about one and a half teaspoons of gravy granules. We don't want the gravy to be too thick. We only want it to be watery enough so that it covers the, the olives in the pan. So while we're waiting for the oven to preheat, we're going to get started on our side dish. What we're going to have for our side? Can you guess? It's Scotland. We're gonna have chips. Now because I'm a fucking baller, I'm gonna make the chips from hand. I've actually bought a bag of potatoes. No oven chips for this guy. We're gonna make some fried chips. It's gonna be fucking awesome. So first things first, we wanna fill this pot with water. So we're gonna have to boil these potatoes. All right, now we've got to chop the potatoes. Now, people usually like their potatoes peeled. Nice skin. Me, I don't mind the skin, you know, I quite like it. I think it adds a wee bit of texture to the chip. So, all I'm peeling off here are the manky bits. So, bits with eyes and all that sort of shit. 
You've also got to take into consideration that I'm a lazy bastard. And that's why I don't mind the skin, you know, because I can't even be fucking arsed peeling potatoes. Have you ever tried peeling potatoes for a whole fucking family on Christmas Day? Fuck that shit. I want to play with my new train track, not fucking cutting potatoes all bloody day. Alright, so just take your potatoes, cut them in to chip-like shapes. Now, if anyone's confused so far, uh, for you Americans, chips means fries. Now that, right there, that is a suitable portion for one person. However, I'm the size of about three fucking people, so two more potatoes for me, thank you very much. There you have it, a nice big pile of chips. So all we have to do is wait for that pot to boil and then we'll get them thrown in there. All right, kettle's boiled and we've added the water to our gravy granules. Give it a wee stir the new. There you go, that's how thick it should be. No thicker than that, that is plenty. Almost time to put these bad boys in the oven. Take your gravy, slosh it all over there. Make sure, whoa, you don't drop the pan. Just make sure you get it all over the tops of the olives. Fill that right up. There you go. Ain't that lovely? If you're a culinary master like me, you like to add a touch of class to your beef olives. So what you're gonna want, grab some parsley. All you have to do is scrunch it up. And then it'll cut nice and, nice and lovely, there we go. Cut up some lovely wee bits of parsley there. Oh, isn't that lovely? There you go. Smell the aroma. Mmm. Delicious. And then you want to sprinkle that on there. There we go. Sprinkly sprinkles. Lovely. See, it's all coming together now. Right, now you want to take a wee bit of the tin foil. That bad. Mwah. Go ahead and whack those in the oven. You want to leave those in there for about 45 minutes, taking them out once halfway through just to give them a wee turn. Right, pot's boiled, so we want to go ahead and whack in our chips. Now, once your chips are boiled, you're going to want to Heat up a bit of oil in a pan. Now, if you're going for true flavor town with these chips, you wanna make sure that this is oil that's been used a good three or four times. We're talking sausages, bacon, cook some eggs in there, maybe a wee bit of mushroom. Oh yeah, lovely. Gives the chips a nice bit of flavor. When your pan's nice and hot, go on and add those chips. Maybe, if you're lucky, you won't have quite a mush like I've got. Our olives are ready, here we go. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. If there's anything that Scotland excels at, it's making food that looks like penises. But don't be fooled. They're delicious. All right, time to add our chip mush to the plate. I'll be perfectly honest, I fucked up the chips. But hey, I'm sure they'll be just as delicious anyway. Of course, we can't forget the lovely, lovely gravy. Mm. Slop it on there. If your 
plate's not swimming, there's not enough gravy. Any proud Scotsman knows, in order for a true Scottish meal to be complete, you have to cover it in salt and vinegar. Let's go in for the first bite. All of first, make sure get a wee dab of the gravy on the inside there. Mmm. It's delicious. Perfect mix of meaty and slimy. Mm. It's amazing. A wee bit with the parsley on there as well. That is a true Scottish delight, right there. Mmm, it's lovely. Let's give these chips a wee try. To admit, they came out more like slightly crispy mashed potatoes, but they're all right. Mm. I'm good. I'm good. Mm. Well, that's all today from Max Kitchen. Please go home and try this one for yourself. It's just a beautiful recipe. Absolutely delicious, a true delicacy in Scotland. I hope your life is full of flavour. Have yourself a lovely 